From there, we talk about Christian teachings on work. And here is where we are going to read the Bible. Very good. We also read Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. Yes, so here we've been told that God ordained work because himself he worked and then he did what? He rested on the seventh day. And then uh, we go to Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he is taking care of God's creation, that is with cultivating and guarding it. So as Christians, we are reminded to do what? Subdue the earth. We read uh, Psalms chapter 8, verse 6 to 8. Psalms. Psalms chapter 8, verse 6 to 8. So here we are being told that human beings are made rulers over everything that God made. They are rulers and the, uh, the, we have, the work of their hands is what? Blessed. So we should work as Christians. We go to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. So here, the book of Proverbs commands hard work and condemns laziness. That is part of it. We also read Proverbs chapter, the same Proverbs chapter 26, verse 14 to 15, so that we can condemn laziness. Chapter 6, verse 6 to 11. Sorry, 26, 14 to 15. As a daughter on so does a sluggard run away. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He tears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can, who can answer this scripture. So here, actually, you should be reading these scriptures as students. We are being told a sluggard is someone who is lazy. lazy. They are so lazy that they cannot even get fruit from their plate to their what? Their mouth. We are being told not to be lazy. And also Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4. If you are lazy, you will be poor. That is basically what you are being told. But if you are working, you will be what? Rich. 
And then if you read the whole of chapter 31, we cannot read the whole of Proverbs chapter 31, uh, the Bible praises a hardworking wife who always keeps herself busy and who looks after her what? family's needs. We also read Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 13 and Amos chapter 5 verse 10 to 13. So here we're being told these are evil practices that are related to work. We are being just uh, uh, Jeremiah and Amos are condemning oppressing of the laborers, or you uh, you exploit those people who are working for you. You can exploit them by not failing to pay them what a decent salary. That is all we've read about. So we go to Exodus chapter eighteen, verse thirteen to twenty-seven. Exodus chapter 18, verse 13 to 27. So here we're being told that work should be shared. And the scripture that we've read is the father-in-law of, who? of uh, Moses, that is Jethro. He was telling Moses that that work is a lot, he should do it, divide it. That's why he appointed judges. 
That is basically it. So now we look at the Christian teachings on work as we've read. 